Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to be covering, uh, continuing to cover uh, items on the toolbar over here. In the previous episodes, we've gone over the selection tool and the tra uh, select tracks forward and backwards. This episode, I'm going to be going over this little menu here, which is the ripple edit tool. Uh, if you got this little teeny arrow down here, that means you can expand this menu. I'm going, to, I'm going to click on this item here and hold down my mouse, and it will pop open other items here that I can select. Uh, you've got your ripple tool, your roll tool, and rate stretch tool. I won't be selecting this, uh, things on this menu anymore because I'm going to be using shortcuts to select them. So I'm not going to actually click on this toolbar for this. So letter B letter N and letter R for those shortcuts. And you'll notice if I hit those, right now it's, it's already on B, the, the ripple edit tool. If I hit the letter N, it selects the uh, roll tool. And uh, if I hit R, it selects the right stretch tool. So let's go over B, which is the ripple edit tool. What this does is if I move this over now, if I've got that selected, I'm going to move this over to this uh, timeline here. If you move it in the middle of a clip, you know you notice you've got this little cross through it, meaning that, that this is no good right now. It's not going to do any function. If I click and do anything, it's not doing, it won't do anything. If I move it over to the edge of an edit, notice this turns into a little yellow arrow that's pointing to the left. If I move it over to the right, it has the same thing, arrow pointing over to the right. That means that you can trim this clip's out point without affecting the adjacent clip next to it. If I move it over here, I'm going to affect this clip's endpoint or uh, trim this clip's endpoint, either expanding the endpoint or shortening it without affecting the adjacent clip. And what this does, so if we use our, our arrow tool, I'm gonna hit V as in Victor for my arrow tool, uh, for my selection tool. And now if I trim this clip here, if I trim this in, out point here, and then I let go, it leaves this gap here. And then I can select this gap and hit delete and shorten that together. And that's called a ripple edit, when you basically shorten a clip and then fill the gap. So the ripple edit tool will do this in one move. Let me undo, undo, control Z twice. I'm going to move this right here. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to drag it to the left. So let's use the ripple edit tool to do this all in one move. So I'm going to hit the letter B for my ripple edit tool. I'm going to move over to the edge of this. I'm going to grab this uh, clip's edge here, and I'm going to start dragging it to the left uh, to shrink it. Now that time code is super big because uh, I'm using offline media, which think and it thinks this is 4K footage, and it's not. It's 720 footage, so so it's displaying the time code at the 4K size. Anyway, uh, but as I drag this over, look what's happening to my out point. That image to the left uh, is showing my new clip's out point. As I drag it to the left, as I shorten it, I can even drag this to the right into pushing out the clips to the right. If I drag this to the right, it's expanding my endpoint and it's showing what your new out point is be, what your new out point is going to be and what the endpoint to the right is going to be. So this is a really useful tool for matching, for matching uh, from shot to shot. Let's say, first of all, uh, as we go from play from this clip to the next, watch visually as he, t he turns his head, and then or here it turns his head again. So we're going to use a ripple tool to match this item here. So with my ripple tool selected, I'm going to go down here and grab this, and I'm going to drag this to the left, and I'm going to get it right before he starts to turn his head. And right, he starts, he blinks and starts to turn his head right there, barely. And I let go, and it does the ripple edit. Now I grab this one and drag it to the right, and same thing, he blinks and he turns his head, and he actually turns his head and he blinks at the same time. So if we want to get this exact, maybe we need to put this where he's already turned his head a little bit, right there, and stop, and now we got to get this one to the same matching point. And that snap tool is making it so I can't fine-tune this, so I'm going to turn off my snapping tool there, and I'm going to grab this and drag it to the right to where he barely starts to turn his head. Right there. So now I've got it on a matching point. Let's play through that and look at it and watch this. And we match continuity with his face turning, and the ripple edit helps us do that.